Hello, everybody. This is your one and only Geek Master, who just got done with like an entire half hour vocal performance stuff. So it's like, we, I've got music on the brain. We're gonna place some more of this. We're gonna go control some more stars. Some stars. We're gonna be a star. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be a star that can pilot where the fuck it's going. Uh, so I did some. St I actually, well, okay. Let's be fair. I don't think I did anything special. Uh, I tried some of the uh, melee mode. Uh, one of my viewers recommended I try that for testing. The controls seem to work now. Hopefully they stay working. They stay workful. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's get the fuck out of Pluto, though. So, last time we had Fawifo join us. Uh, you might have seen in that brief... Uh, hodgepodge that I put together for episode two. Again, I'm sorry about the uh, mic audio being dicked up there. I have taken steps. I've taken steps, little steps, towards making sure that the thing that you actually can you see? No, you can. No, you can see just like I might crop that out. Uh, this thing you can't see, I'm going to make sure it makes the audio go good and stuff, hopefully. Um, at least it is right now. Maybe it'll change its mind. You know, it's technology. You know, after you've worked with computers and uh, business networking for a couple of years, you, you begin to understand that technology, no matter what anyone says, has a mind of its own. It just does what the fuck it wants to. Um, like so many times I've resisted telling clients in the uh, various ITCS related fields and then I'm going to burn a fattened goat over your computer because I am sincerely convinced that it'll affect some sort of positive change. Uh, I shit you not. Uh, so I was talking about asteroid belt before last time. I am gonna... So there's a couple of these dots in here that aren't the same color. I'm here. Okay, no, they're not actual, like, asteroids or something. I was wondering if, like, there were little bits. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Oh, okay, no, that was just part of the, uh, story, man. Darn it. Got excited there. The excitement grew in my hum. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Like, seriously, there should be so many things I should be able to mine from the re from the asteroid belt to the solar system. And it's just like, nope, that doesn't exist. Uh, how dare Urquan Master, Star Control 2, whatever sex it's identifying as now at this point in its aged, aged life. Who cares about realism? We're here for science. We know those two things have nothing to do with each other. Ha 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 ha. Uh, all right, uh, let's do the thing. Uh, I am so. How would I? Uh, do I talk uh, to the Star Base? I'm glad you're back. Give me your mega. Not a bad job, Captain. Mmm. Well, thanks, Underling. Uh, you know, we didn't get a chance to talk to this guy really all that much because it does have some additional background information for us, you know. <laughs> I, to some additional, I just like I'm reading a prompt now. That's quality, guys! I'm just reading a prompt that's called The Game. Uh, but I'm gonna go talk to him because there is interesting shit that he has to say that we sort of missed out last time. For proceeding, I need Certainly some more Captain. shit. What do you need to know? What is your favorite color? We can modify your precursor ship, build additional combat vessels, and supply you with fuel and crew. He makes more shit. I I'm just gonna sum up everything he says and just go like, TLDR, he does this. So essentially, we can use the Starbase to make thrusters, cannons, which fire in different directions depending upon where you put them on the ship. Uh, we can make more storage, we can make more fuel, we basically get to add Cripple Space Program mods to the Wankle, because the Wankle can, is basically a mix and match, uh, deal. It's like the Mr. Potato Head of Space. Uh, and we can also make more of these little doodads, uh, here. Uh, we also can get more personnel from the ship, uh, based on the RU cost. 
if we if this is high enough we can get additional crew pretty easily highly motivated skilled person every single one yeah so we can get them pretty easily if we want to uh what else can i tell you now the historical data is more interesting shit the Shofixti are a race of intelligent marsupials who had been civilized for only a few decades when the war began. They were discovered in the Delta Gorno star system by the Yehat, who adopted and then uplifted the Shofixti, giving them advanced technology and cultural definition. Shofixti are noble and fearless warriors, Captain. In addition, their incredible fecundity and rapid maturation rate kept Alliance ranks solid even at the worst part of the war. You know, I once flew as an observer aboard one of their ships on routine patrol. We never saw the enemy, but I could never stop thinking about the glory device that had strapped to the bottom of its hull. Actually, you know what I'm going to do here? Because otherwise, this would be a lot of splaining, and I don't want to get things too wordy. As we encounter people, I'm going to go back here and talk to... Oh, God, what's his name? Starburst Commander... Hank Hansen, H. Starbase Commander Big Big Arms, Mr. Big Arms. We're gonna go back to talk to Mr. Big Arms, and as we encounter these races out in the vast blackness of space, so we can learn more about them, you know, as we see them. Uh, about you? None that we have made formal contact with. The Chen Jethu implied that they had met two other star-faring species. Chen one Jetsu. near the Gikla's constellation and the other directly close from constellation? Procyon. The Ari Lulalile once mentioned having some fun with an alien race in Draconis. I can but like so much else with the Ari Lu, they never revealed the whole story. Huh. I'm sure there are hundreds more alien races in our galaxy, but beyond what I've told you, your guess is as good as mine. Alright. Battle thralls in the higher. That's a good question. Which species? Actually, we do have a spathy ship with us, so let's go ahead and ask him about these guys. Imagine facing a cowardly mobile clam armed with a howitzer. We've we got fall. a good idea of what it's like dealing with a spathy. Although they tend to avoid battles as much as their masters will allow, once in battle, a spathy eluder is one tough cookie. <laughs> I once heard a rumor, though I don't like to believe in it myself, that a rogue band of courageous Bathy broke away from the main star fleet, painted their ships black with bright red stripes, and formed the Black Spathy Squadron, dedicated to performing brave, brave and hostile, hostile deeds. Like I said, I'd have to see it to what believe What the hell? What other group of aliens are you interested in? Would you like information on any other aspect of this? Maybe. Yeah, how about some ancient galactic history? Hell, you probably know more about them than I do, but here it goes. About 200,000 years ago, when our great to the nth grandparents were just starting to play with stone knives and bear skins, a star-faring species suddenly appeared on the galactic scene and spread like wildfire. We found evidence of their presence just about everywhere, from an orbital platform on Alpha Centauri to a stack of data plates in a cave on Pluto to some nameless widget found in a voodoo shop in New Orleans. And we never found a precursor body or even a picture of one. We can conjecture what they look like by examining the scale and layout of their equipment. Such an analysis indicates they were giants, say five to eight meters tall and twice as wide. I don't know if they look more like a brontosaur or an elephant. Anyway, about 3,000 years after the precursors made their dramatic appearance, they vanished. Poof. As far as we can tell, it took less than a decade to happen. You mean besides the precursors? Well, the only information we have is secondhand based on some research by a Chenzesu historian that I read at the academy. Zed Sert Sack, the historian, found some evidence that there was a group of alien races who formed an interstellar empire not too far from here about 22,000 years ago. The only species in this empire actually lived in our region of space was a race of rock-like creatures who lived in the Volpecule constellation. The presence of the hostile androsynth in that part of space severely limited Zed Sert Sack's research. He never even found out the race's name. 
Yes, there is. Aside from the precursor relics we have found on Earth, often in museums mislabeled as modern art. Fuck you, modern art. Disturbing evidence of much more recent dissertation. Perhaps you're already aware that during the mid to late 20th century, there were unaccountable UFO sightings as well as dozens of reported encounters with alien life forms. Although we can discount many of the reports as wishful fabrication or traumatic translation, the military authorities of the time kept a secret record of the incidents which were legitimate. In each such case, the aliens are almost identical in appearance. Mm, they have white God. skin and minimal I'll facial features, better. except for huge almond-shaped eyes, which are often described as glowing or luminescent. This description fits almost perfectly the Arielu Lolly Lay. In most of the legitimate encounters, the people involved describe being physically examined or modified by the aliens. Sexy. In some cases, unusual pregnancies occurred, and in almost every instance. There were repeat visitations as though the Ari Lu Lolly Lay were doing checkups on their subject. We never got Yay. the chance to confront the Ari Lu Lolly Lay about what they did to us and why. I wonder if we ever will. I don't want to meet them in combat. I I'm assuming they're just going to impregnate us all. Give us the equivalent of pregnancy enemas. Yeah, that's, that's uh, wonderful. Do you like information on any other aspect of history? Yeah, let's learn about how we got our asses handed to us. What about the war? How badly did we get beat? Earth got involved late in the game in 2112 when the Chenjesu arrived in our solar system for the first time. So let's back up a few years to 2098 when the Chenjesu super sensitive receivers detected a strange signal from the Ophiuchi constellation. Though even the Chenjesu didn't know it, it was the first sign of the Urquan's arrival. The Urquan, having detected the presence of many sentient species, were beating out an exulting hunting cry. First direct evidence of the Urquan's <laughs> intent was the sudden conquest of the Urquan. Like that, presumably. A solitary, though not unfriendly species in the Orionist constellation. The Chenjesu, distraught by the invasion, were further angered when the Urquan turned their fleets on the hostile but weak Ilrath race. A hastily assembled defense force of Myrna Herman Chenjesu vessels turned Myrna the Urquan Herman. fleet aside, but the invader moved into spathy space, rapidly subjugating that race. Huh. With each new conquest, the Urquan fleet grew larger as it added slave vessels to its ranks. Earth joined the Chenjesu to form the Alliance of Free Stars at about the same time as the Androsynth stars fell to the Urquan Armada. Before the ink was dry on our agreement with the Chenjesu in 2116, a new race appeared in orbit around the moon and asked for admittance to the Alliance. It was the Ari Lu Lali Lake. Hello, hello, hello. Why do you guys have so Ari many consonants in your names? Weird, looking like saucer men from Mars, but we were too busy cranking up our mothballed heavy industry that we really didn't pay it much attention at the time. You know what? We'll ask about the war another time. So I want to get this dying on shit. Would you like any? Sure. Any? Actually, you know, this, this would probably be good to ask. Uh, so pipe back in mouth. Uh, actually, no, this isn't history. This is advice. So this is present day. Can you be more specific? How do we not die? If you have the patience, I would recommend you spend several months or even a year gathering mineral resources. You can find such minerals on almost any planet surface. They're the different the dots. quality and density will vary depending upon the type of planet you're on. Base metals are probably the most common materials you'll find, but they aren't particularly valuable. You can find rarer precious and radioactive elements on metal-rich worlds such as Mercury. Well, we've already no checked that out. No told me that you could tell the relative quality of a planet's minerals based on the planet's color as seen from space. Okay. Remember the color sequence from good to bad. The miner had a mnemonic that went something like, very young orangutan could grow bananas perhaps rather well. Very young. It is also the case that mineral yields will be better at hotter stars. Let's get the ship going. Uh, to the shipyard. Um. Screw this the fuck up. Screw that the fuck up. Oh, so we can give ourselves another Earthling cruiser. Gotcha. I'm gonna actually do upgrades. 
Uh, I'm gonna outfit Starship. Uh, gonna give myself a good bit more fuel. Modules. Um, okay, so we can add in some more thrusting jets now. But we can't make the ship go f Okay, so we can add... Okay, so that adds the maximum velocity. Okay. So that answers all my questions then with this. So I like the additional speed on the main ship. Good. All right, that answers all my questions. Let's get the fuck out of here and do something. Also, the hotter stars, he mentioned, are going to usually have planets with better... Oh, fuck off, dude. Uh, are going to have planets with better materials. Are going to have an, a greater abundance. Presumably... Presumably, that also means those planets will also be more dangerous to us. So we gotta watch out for that shit. Also, I don't think there's a way we can improve the lander, sadly enough. Er... The hell? So... Okay, so that means another star system. All right. Oh, that's rather straightforward. Oh, look, there's a yellow planet. That's second in terms of mineral density. Let's check this shit out. Let's also drift right past it. Damn it. Why don't you have reverse thrusters? Make your life so much better. You have no idea! Alright, let's toodle on to planetary orbit of Sirius. Mmm, Sirius. So serious. Uh, alright, let's scan this shit. Uh, shit, class six. I assume... God, that's a good amount of minerals. Um... I'm going to exit, then I'm going to save, because I'm a smart cookie. Um, now that we save, we're going to try dispatching. And if level 6 tectonics looks like it's just going to absolutely wreck us, I am just going to fuck off immediately. Oh my god, this is nightmarish. Fuck. That is uh, nasty as shit. I'm guessing whatever this shit is. Wow. That is, uh, unholy. There has to be a way to improve the lander. There has to be. Hold, you know what? Hold on a sec. Okay, so apparently there will be a way to increase the survivability of the landers uh, later on. For right now, there's really nothing uh, that's going to keep us alive on a planet that, that that's that nasty. So we're just going to fuck off for now. Serious. All right, we're seriously coming back to serious. Just not right now. Because right now, it sort of seems like a lot of death. And I'm not down for that. All right, so Sirius is the next one over to Earth, right there. Let's head down this way. It's so pretty and sparkly. Wow, that takes us down to... Not much fuel. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch just how much fuel I spend in this place. This is Alpha Lyrae. Yep, yep, whoops. Uh, wait, your planets. I I'm assuming the other planet for the second orbit is out with that. Yeah, I can actually, no, I, I can't tell. Let's check out this blue guy. Um, blue is very young orangutans, could grow bananas, perhaps rather well. So not the best, but hopefully that means this blue planet is not also going to, like, you know, end us. Planetary orbit, uh, scan, weather class three, I think that's survivable. 
Alright. Let's check this shit out. Please don't have lightning. Oh god, it has lightning. Just... Just, I'm trying to find a way to... How... How in God's green blazes do I fucking avoid that? Okay, that's full up. And let's pick up this shit. Boom! Zoom! Zoom, bitch! Okay. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 We only lost three! I'll take that. Fuck it. I'll take a loss of three for getting another planet ticked off. Yeah, fuck lightning. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Fuck it so hard. Alright, got 15 fuel. I think that should be enough to get back to Earth. If I recall correctly. Um, let's, uh... See if we can figure out where the fuck their other orbital body is. It that that's whoops it that er, it, it Jesus. Eh, uh, steerp. Seriously, Kerbals can build rockets with reverse thrusters. Why can't we? All right, it's toodle poop, toodle pip. Toodle pop, toodle doot. Uh, what the fudge are you? It's, uh. Noble world. Seriously, what is the noble world? Alright, it's got some shit. And yeah, nothing in either of those scans. Alright, let's go. Oh, I assume by noble world it means a world full of noble gases, but I'm sorry to tell you guys, I don't think that's a classification of world, you know? Just, just gonna say. And we should probably get back to Earth, honestly. Because I'm not sure we have enough fuel to get to another nearby star. So is it possible for us to just run out of fuel and the resources to make more? Like we just get to a point where there's no more progress that can be made and we're just dead in the water? I wonder. You know, this is an early enough game. I do not see that being out of the question. Like this sort of uh, game design was like, yeah, no, you can just get real fucked if you aren't careful. You know, no kid gloves, it's all hard and gritty. Like my dick. Alright, let's offload all of this. Light load. Bear with Alright. So we really need more fuel. Let's go up to 35 so we can be out for a while. 35 should be good. Alright. Zoom! Zoom, motherfucker! Ah, zoom! Zoom! Itch. Alright. So I think there's a sign of another star up this way. Let's check that shit out. It's my boat! It's the big bow planet. The big bow ba da bow ba ba do blue. What we got? It's a gas giant. Uh, might as fucking well. Eh, nah, fuck it. I wonder if you can get to a point where you can, like, mine gas giants for stuff, where you can get, like, an upgrade for it. I wonder. That'd be kind of neat. Like, you know, you gotta go revisit the gas giants that he found beforehand to get that extra sort of edge towards the end of the game. Or else you die. Alright, so, very young orangutans could grow bananas perhaps rather well. So, this one's, like, middle of the road. Middle of the road. What do we got? Iodine? Oh, shit. Classified tectonics. I'm not sure we're gonna survive that. And you know what, a green world... Well, well it's auto-scan.
Maybe I could drop in for like two seconds for an area. Um. Uh, game, save. The weather isn't going to shock us, though, at least. So, okay, let's... We've saved. Let's try it. Okay, so it's just a lot of those things. That's... That's not bad. Oh, he says he gets hit. Navigate me. We've stripped that shit, Bear. So yeah, Tectonic's high level is not that bad. Realistically speaking. Violet... Uh, are apparently, unless that's like pink, I'm not sure if it's because there's very young orangutans, could grow bananas perhaps rather well. Um, P could be purple and, oh, uh, pink, pink. So pink planets? Is that what that refers to? Ah, fuck it. Yellow were like level two. Class 6. Okay, I can survive Class 6, probably. Wow, that's a lot of biological urea. Oh, as in, like, okay, so as in, I can, like, so I'm picking up piss. This is the piss planet, essentially. Got it. Piss planet, ahoy. Let's go. So, oh, ow. Okay, so... Oh! Okay, I gotta kill all the indigenous life for my shit. And I gotta also really watch the earthquakes. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna reload that. So I have learned, always save before you land somewhere. Otherwise, you risk getting really fucked. Uh, let's check out the pink planet while we're here. Or sort of swinging by. Ah, so it's just a big pink gas giant. Uh, let's save... Before we get ourselves killed again. Because I'm still not sure if I just lose too many crew. Because crew are basically hit points. Um, scan. Scan it. Yeah, there's nothing interesting. So basically, crew are hit points, but I'm worried from what the commander said at the very beginning that I can actually run out of shit. Um, oh, so this is nice and tame. What do we got? Gimme. Give, Give me the goods. Give me the goods. All right. Now, again, we save and we scan. It's a purple world. Okay. I mine purple from here, presumably. Uh, some stuff, mineral, energy... Biological, so just mineral shit. We'll pick it up. All right. Oh, 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 hey, <clears throat> come back. Come back, yeah. Come back. All right, so this time we save. Saving is good. Save the game. All right. Okay, so now we know what's up. So we have a lot of tectonics to dodge. But as long as we can dodge them... As long as we can dodge them. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so those guys take two hits. hard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit 
And the moment I lose like half of my health, I'm basically gonna just call it quits. Uh, I'm gonna say, okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. I'm gonna pull out now before I get destroyed by another fucking earthquake. Because in a lot of situations, it's just it gets to the point where it's effectively unavoidable. Just getting hit by these things. Like you can dodge. Watch what you're doing. The other thing is you have to be pretty much always. Oh shit. Yep. God damn it. Okay, we're done. We're done. All right, what do we got? Tectonics class five. Well, it's not a class. Whatever the fuck that was. Super dense world. Christ. Nothing on energy. Nothing on biological. Uh, save. We save now. Very savey we are. Yes, we save. And whoop, whoops, Daisy. Oh, okay. So I can see where the dick we are. All right, I forgot about that. Um, let me back. Hey, no, let me back to your thing. Let me back to your balls. Let me back to your big dipping dot. Chaz, all the smaller different dots. There we go. Give me your dots. <clears throat> Give me your dots. Your delicious metallic dippy dots. Your diddle dippy doodle dots. Give them to me. Please give them to me. Oh, yes. Oh, shh. Fuck. Oh, yes! Give me your dippy dots without blowing me the fuck up. What are you? Azure world. Tectonics class 4, so it's... It's tits are significantly calmer. Lots of, uh, biology shit, though. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna exit quickly, save, just to make sure this biology, whatever, is going to just kill me. And dispatch some shit! Let's go do some British-style wildlife conservation by blowing it the fuck up! Oh, they... Oh. So, do I get anything from them? Okay, so I do get shit from them. This planet is weird, yo. This planet is whack. This is a whack planet. Bro. Aw, oh, shit! He's come to whack me! No! No, silly green monkey man! Shove off! Stop eating me, silly green monkey man. Oh. Silly green monkey man is rather dangerous. Okay, so they eat me too. Why does everything need to eat me? Okay, so the monkey man, it looks like you need to sort of wing him a couple times, at least with this strength of weapon. And also their hitboxes around their feet. You know, I wonder if when I have those extra shots, that's actually decreasing the amount of resources I'm getting from them. That wouldn't surprise me. I should, you know, worry about that a little. Oh, I'm full? Oh, there's a separate bar for it. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. I wonder what the fuck Azure is. I assume that's what that means. That this is some sort of, like, Azure, just meaning biological corpses? Is this just, like, the corpse planet? Is this, like, the equivalent of going through a graveyard in space and just kind of, Oh, yeah, we need some bones, a cool human skull for Halloween decorations. Let's kill some shit. It's like the Death Superstore. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I am too fast for you. Mm. I, I, I'm not too, too fast for you. Shouldn't have opened my goddamn big mouth. 
All right, uh, th that last thing down there can survive. A testament to my immense shopping powers. And let's do a clean sweep of Alpha Wolf. What other shit you got for me? And that's a lot less crew than what I started with. God damn it. It's so easy to get them killed. All right, so it looks like there's a little purple planet right here. I think. Yes, all right. Last thing to do. It's probably going to kill me dead. You know, let's actually save before we go to the planet. Before, like, something comes out of the blue to just fuck us. All right, what do we got? Super dense world, Joy. You know, there's only one resource, so I'm going to just try to land, scoop it, and then run off. Okay, we're done. We are done. Goodbye. All right. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, hold on. It is vital that I rehydrate before I continue that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys out there having a bad day, I believe in you and your ability to make a better one. And if you're having a good day, please, like we do, share it around with some others. But whatever kind of a day that you are having, thank you for sharing it with me, your one and only gig master, yours truly. And I hope to see all of you guys around the day.